Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I'm going to be planning the first week of 2017 in my So Much Crafting personal inserts. The kit I'm gonna be using is this really cute little eggnog kit from Crest Press. This is her personal kit format. And I really like this format. I've done a few of her personal kit spreads on my channel before, so check those out if you missed them. I think it's really functional and decorative, so excited about this. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out my inserts, actually, but first I do wanna just show you how I have everything kind of set up in this post-holiday time. I did switch out my for my 2017 inserts. Um, so I've got my monthlies in there, my annuals, and then I just put the first quarter of my So Much Crafting inserts in here. Uh, you can, there's a blank page between each month. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use those in any sort of creative way yet or just leave them blank, but um, I like that you can have this white cover in the front and not like see through to a spread, if that makes sense. And I did just switch out a few of my clips and then just changed up this dashboard a bit. If you did see my personal planner set up for the holiday season, I will link that below. I had had this dashboard, but this, I had created this little kind of note card here from a leftover glam planner set, but it said Merry Christmas at the top. I did have an extra quote that said season's greetings. And I just switched that out for these, these couple of weeks after uh, Christmas is over because I still wanted to use this because this is really festive and fun and honestly I still have my Christmas decorations up at home and it still feels really cozy and fun so I kept this kind of Christmassy but to me I moved away from like the Santa and super Christmassy theme so it's more just like holiday and festive. I'll leave this up for probably a couple more weeks and then switch to something that's more like Valentine's-y or wintry. I haven't decided yet but so I have the same dashboard and then these two clips are from Pinky Bow's Boutique. I will link her down below. I like these. They seemed like wintry and fun and then they picked up some of the pinks in the dashboard. This little gold bow is quickly becoming one of my favorite clips because it goes with every single thing um, and that is from the Creative Bee. And then I kept this present from the other uh, setup and this little fox from the other setup. They are from Planner Glam Girl. So I will link all those shops below but I just wanted to do a quick share that with you quickly before, or instead of doing a full video on it. So let me pop these inserts out and get started. So I have my Fitbit on here. I'm actually gonna take this off because I think this will be distracting. I did get a Fitbit for Christmas for my husband. I had wanted one for a bit. Um, let me know if you're a Fitbit person, if you have any tips and tricks or things you like to do with it beyond the basic step tracking, sleep tracking, all that. Um, I'm just trying to, I, I got it because I kind of want to work on being a little bit more active when I'm not exercising, if that makes sense. Just be a little bit less lazy day to day. Um, like I'm pretty good about getting my exercise in, but I'm not great about um, like being just like an active person. Okay, I'm already having trouble. Where's the undo? The I, this is the one thing, honestly, Crest Press paper is, does not work well with so much crafting inserts at all. Like the Crest pe Press paper is beautiful, it's so soft, it's really unique, but honestly, it does not play nice with so much crafting paper at all. So you really have to have the undo on hand, because like I just did this just a little crooked, but it'll be, it won't like, it, I can't like lift it up quickly to fix it. So we're not off to a great start here. I'm getting a little bit of curling because I pulled it too tight, but oh well. I'm gonna lay this down and punch out the holes. Okay, I have those punched out. There is a little bit of overhang, but it's not really worth it to me to take the time to cut it off. If it sticks a little, it's not a crisis. I always cut it off kind of crooked too, so I hate to do that and then like ruin the super cute, um, or like the, what is this called, washi. And for that, I'm gonna use the dinner plans header. I was debating doing my uploads there. I might grab another weekly ombre in my, uh, on my grid bar for my uploads because I kind of want that, but I am used to having my dinners there. And I'm gonna leave that blank for now. I'll probably come back with some deco. And then on to Monday. Monday I have a day off, which is so fun. So I wanna mark that down kind of special. So I think I will take a Planning Roses Day Off sticker and just put it at the top here, just so that I have that noted instead of handwriting it in. And then on Monday, I do want to note a birthday, and I think I'll do that using a little thing. 
I'll just put one of the little hearts down at the bottom of the day. And then that afternoon, I'm planning on going to a yoga class. So I will grab one of the quarter boxes here and use that. And I'll use one of these cute yoga stickers. I'll just use the little mat because I don't need, because I already put a quarter box down to mark this. The reds don't quite match, but I think that's fine. And on Monday, I definitely want to do like a lot of organization and kind of cleaning out my office and my closet. So I'm going to take this cleaning day sticker and I'm going to take a, take this on the back of my hand for a second. And then I'm going to take maybe a little list with brown and I'm going to grab a brown glitter header here put the list down. This is one of my favorite things to do with her kits. I really like using the glitter headers and icons, kind of like headers of their own. And so I'm just gonna make myself a little list and cover up this top heart just cause otherwise I'm gonna run out of room. Oh well. And put the cleaning day in the center here. I think that looks really cute. It might be kind of hard to write on that top heart, but that is fine. So that's my Monday, very low key because I have the day off, really excited about that. On to Tuesday, Tuesday morning I wanna go for a run and I don't have too much going on. I'm gonna run some errands after work. So I think on, I think I will use one of these very cute full boxes here. I'll use it just kind of in the middle of the day to fill up some of the space and bring in some of the patterns of the kit. So in the morning, I do want to go for a run. So I will use maybe a little asterisk, little thing here. Oop, I just lost a little thing. Where did it end up? Oh, right there. Put this in the morning. And then that night I do have a couple of errands I want to do. So I'm going to take these little hearts and make my own little like checklist with them. And she does have a little car. So I think I will take another glitter header here. This time I'll take a black one. Put this at the bottom of this picture or this full box. I mean this picture, you guys know what I mean? Put the car in the middle and then just put down my two little errands that I want to run. Great. And I'm just going to put the little shopping bag there. That's not really shopping errands, but just as like cute little deco. Very cute. And then on to Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I'm going to go to an exercise class. I'm going to take a quarter box and I will take her little kettlebell icon in the kit. Put that here. Very cute. And then on that night, we're going to see a movie. And this kit does not come with a movie marquee, which is totally fine because most weeks you don't go to a movie. Um, so I'm gonna grab one. And I have these leftover sheets from my Glam Planner White Christmas kit. And I probably won't use the gray ones because they don't super go, but I thought these black ones could actually be really useful. And then I found this black movie marquee on those. So that will coordinate nicely. First though, I actually do want to mark down that we're doing like a little happy hour kind of date night thing. So I'm going to take maybe this quarter box. I wish I had not used brown already or black for that matter. I might lift this sticker up and save it for Saturday because we're gonna go to the same class on Saturday. So I'll just move this over there and then I can use a different color quarter box so I can use the brown. And I do get questions about this when I use it. It's undo, it is magic, it smells like death, but it is seriously lifts anything from so much crafting inserts. I've already used a ton of it, as you can see. You can get it on Amazon or Michaels. It's pretty affordable on Amazon, which is where I got it. So I um, definitely recommend it if you're working with these inserts in particular. They're good for all stickers, but these inserts are particularly uh, not friendly. So I like them for this. I don't wanna put the purple next to the purple. So I guess I'll just do the black one. It'll just be a very black and brown day. So here is this exercise class. Now I need a different icon. Does she have any more? Wouldn't expect her to, yeah. 
So I'm gonna grab a workout icon for that. I have my dumbbells here from Planner-esque and I think I could grab one of these red ones maybe. Maybe this red one works. Perfect. And I did also wanna grab a running icon for Tuesday because it's always nice to have. I guess I can move this sticker over to this sheet, huh? And get rid of it. Hey, we used up a running sheet. And for this spread, her reds are very pink. Let me see if this could work. Actually, that goes pretty well. So take that for Tuesday. That's Scribble Prints Co. stickers. And then, sorry, back to Wednesday. I'm all over the place here. Let's grab a scallop sticker for this happy hour we're going to go to. Let me put this down first to make sure I have room for everything. We're seeing Rogue One. I am very excited. And then beforehand, because it's like date night at the theater, so they have cheap tickets, like $9 tickets, and then they also have half price drinks in their lounge. It's a really nice theater. It's like a fancy theater. Um, but like the tickets are like nine bucks for the movie on Wednesday night, so perfect. And then we can go for drinks and snacks beforehand. So really excited about that. And then on to Thursday. Thursday is another pretty low key day. So I will take another um, full box here. These like mini full boxes are perfect. So I'm going to do this in the middle of the day again. I kind of want to get coffee in the morning. So I'm gonna mark that down cause I'm not gonna work out that morning. So I will take a little, I'm just gonna use one of these little coffee mugs from that are like almost like deco for the kit. Oh no, she has this one, that's perfect. And I'll use a flag with that. I love these colors. I think they're so unusual, but I really like them. Put that on Thursday and mark that down. And then Thursday night, I really just wanna work on YouTube. So I'm just going to take this little laptop and I can write next to it, work on YouTube. Simple, simple. Then on Friday, I am planning on working out again that morning. So I'm going to take another, this time I'll take one of these maybe, take a red one. And I don't quite know what I'm gonna do for that yet. So I'm gonna take a sneaker icon. Let me see if this color works. Yeah, that's good. And I can just cover up that flag. Oh, well, that looks cute though. And then on Friday, I really don't have that much going on that night and the rest of the weekend is very busy. I do also wanna put down a reminder to take out the trash. I really should have put this down on Thursday, but that is fine. So I'm gonna take this, mark this down. I'll just do this at the bottom because we have a lot of boxes that need to go out. And then Friday night is gonna be like a super lazy me time kind of night. So I'm gonna take this me time and I'm gonna use these little washi strips kind of, or these little like almost like header strips, almost like washi instead. I'm gonna take this scallop sticker and just kind of layer this over this, just look like a little cuter. And just cause I don't wanna like, I don't know. I don't like having to change between white pens and black pens. So I wasn't gonna use that scallop sticker to write on it. Um, so I just layered that there. Very cute, just to mark down. It's gonna be like a lazy night in. I might also put down this little nail polish cause it's so cute. And I should paint my nails. I need to get back into that. Very cute. And then onto Saturday, we already have that workout down. And then I also do need to grab groceries. So I'm going to grab a flag and the grocery icon. And my plans actually changed for Saturday night since you guys saw my Erin Condren. Like right after that, one of my friends contacted me and who lives like across the country and she's here for this, this weekend. And she's like, do you guys wanna get together? And I was like, yes, obviously. So even though it's kind of last minute, so I'm going to be having a girls night that week, that night. So I'm going to take a quarter box here and just fill that in. Not gonna be able to get that much else done that day. Um, I probably need to like, oh, I do need to pick up um, the house a bit because the on Sunday I'm hosting something. 
So it's gonna be a busy weekend for sure. And it's the start of the playoffs. So, I, and I don't know when the game I want to watch is. So I'm not gonna mark that down, but I might lift up this as well and put a TV little thing at the bottom of both Saturday and Sunday, just to let myself be aware that the games are going on. Um, and then I can figure out what games I do wanna watch later. And I'm gonna take a little thing layered with a little cleaning, or does she have one? She has this little, I mean, it's, I'm not gonna really be doing dishes, but um, just to kind of indicate cleaning, I'm gonna take this little thing here and indicate I need to do some house pickup. Or maybe does she have, I'll put this one kind of like this, and then put the house one. She has a little house sticker, yeah put this one over the asterisk. And then I will layer in this quarter box. Did not leave very much room for myself, but that's okay. We're a little crooked. One of those stickers is crooked, but I'm getting sick of using undo, so we're not gonna bother with it, unless we can just happen to lift it. We can't, we're destroying stickers. What is wrong with me? Okay, anyway, moving on to Sunday. Sunday, like I said, I'm hosting that brunch. So I'm gonna take this and it is kind of like planner themed. So these are people that don't normally plan like the way we plan. And um, they're like some of my closest girlfriends. So we are going to do um, a brunch and they are going to try out using some of my stickers. And I'm gonna give them some like older kits that I'm not gonna use to try out planning. So I think that will be a lot of fun. We might film some of it, so TBD on that. Hopefully, because otherwise I'm not going to have much time <laughs> this weekend to film. And then that day, I really just want to get some filming done and then also um, want to do laundry. So she has this laundry and like just kind of do house stuff. So we got this laundry day one and I'm going to take this little camera and a flag to mark down filming. Oh, I should have done that on the other side of the sheet. And for laundry day, I'm gonna take another glitter header here and do this trick again. Layer a little cutout icon over a glitter header. I just really think this looks so cute. And then I will take a few of these little asterisks and layer them underneath. I'll just do it over here because this is looking a little crowded over there. Cute. Loving the way this is turning out. So I do want to fill in this top left here. And I have some really cute deco. Hmm. So I will take some of this here. I want to save some for the grid bar, but I think we can take some of it. And I'm also going to take these little headers here and use them kind of like washi. Very crooked washi, but washi. Okay, I think that looks very simple, very cute. Almost forgot my weekend banner. Don't worry guys, we're gonna put this over these dates as usual. Cause I just think that looks nice. Very cute. And now we can move on to the grid bar. So for the grid bar, definitely need to use this adorable quote sticker at the top. Cause I love that, very nice. And then I do wanna use these two habit trackers here. And then I'm going to grab a glitter header underneath this. And it, I want to have a work to-do list on the front and the back because her to-do lists are only four long. And it, I think it will be a pretty busy week at work. So I want to have one on the front and the back. So for this one, I'm just gonna label or layer a briefcase over a glitter header. I, to indicate work, I thought the briefcase was cute. And have this here. 
And then I also want to do a this week one that is more um, personal to do's. I'm going to take this week. I'm going to just use a different colored checklist to keep it fun. And this will be kind of like personal calls and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this next to this little phone next to it to mark down those little to do's. And then on the back, I do want to have a list that I can use for my uploads. And I don't think this is a perfect match. This is a Scribble Prints Co. Multicolor Weekly Ombre. Not a perfect match, but we're going to make it work here and put this up top. And I will take a glitter header again to label this. And I think I'm actually just gonna write in the uploads there because I don't really have any um, icons that I'd like to label for that. And then I want to kind of want to use this full box. I wish I hadn't saved two like red things here. So I think I'll put this, I'll do another list just to break it up a bit. And this will be my, uh, this week I'm gonna do, I'll do the to do and that'll be for work as well. I'll do some deco here, just like this box to break it up a bit. And then I am gonna take this next one, week one at the bottom and I can just jot in anything. Actually, I can put in those little, um, these little hearts, I'll just, or these little asterisks. I'll just put a couple of these in underneath the next week. Cute, and then let me put some deco on here. I'm just gonna put a couple of these little pieces. Fortunately, a lot of the deco is red, so it's not going to show up super well. So I'll just do a few pieces and then kind of let it go. I think that's cute. I'm going to put a candy cane in alongside this guy. Very nice. And let me incorporate some more deco. Now I have the rest of these little pieces. Okay, so I really like how this is looking. I'm gonna fill it in and I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. Okay, so I filled in what I know so far, still working on a few different plans. I think this is such a fun kit. It feels really cozy and wintry and totally fits the post Christmas, start of the new year vibe. It got really cold here, so I love how like cozy and like, I don't know, reminds me of hot cocoa this kit is. And let me pop in the grid bar, show you guys what we look like here. I am loving how this kit looks, really, really cute. Let me know now down below what you thought. I will also show you what we have left over. Really not much, just a few pieces of headers and washies. Plenty of little things uh, left. I didn't use these bill do's. You can just kind of cover them with an icon if you don't want to use them as a bill do. And then just a few things on this sheet. So really not much left over at all. Made good use of this kit and was able to stretch it even to include the grid bar. So I like that a lot. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you wanna keep seeing personal spreads in 2017. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.